Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to this 18th tutorial in our series of tutorials on algorithmic trading for beginners. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the order close function. Uh, the order close function is very similar to the order send function, but it actually allows us to do the opposite. It allows us to close orders which already exist in the market. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to open tutorial 17. And because we are going to be building upon this practice code, we're going to um, take it and we'll save as, we'll save save it as tutorial 18. And uh, we'll just change the number up here. And that will save us um, a lot of time. So now if we've compiled it, it is um, the same working code that we had in tutorial 17 but now we can just continue building upon it um, so if you remember uh, in this code we have some extra parameters that the trader can change um, that will set out take profit and stop loss levels uh, then we send an order uh, we use the order send function to send a, a euro dollar uh, buy uh, order for one lot and um, then uh, we use ticket to uh, implement, the, use the variable ticket to implement some uh, a safe fa fail safe mechanism here, which allows us to account for any possible errors that could occur while the uh, order is being sent. Um, so that's that part. Uh, so if there were any order, uh, any any errors, and the order wasn't sent, then the trader will get a message saying error. Otherwise. Uh, every, if everything's okay, then this code will be executed, which is between these two uh, brackets after else. So that's exactly where we want to add our new code because that's what um, uh, that's where the program will go if uh, everything's okay and the order was sent successfully. Um, so the code we want to add is uh, we want to now after the order has been opened and we've told the trader what the order um, number is, we want to close the order. Um, this does uh, make, does seem like it doesn't make much sense in real life because why would we close an order which we've just opened? But we're doing this uh, only for um, practice purposes and of course in uh, a proper algorithmic trading system we wouldn't do this right away. Um, we would close the order on certain conditions, but at this stage, this is uh, just a way for us to practice how to correctly use the order close function. So we've opened the order. We've told the trader that we have opened it, and now we're going to close it. And um, um, to do that, we will use the order close function. Function, and um, there it is. Um, we'll every function starts with a bracket. And uh, we'll just click F1 uh, to see um, the tooltip for this function. And here we can see right away that the order close function accepts some um, five variables and um, it returns one um, output value. And um, so let's go ahead and program this. So uh, order close needs a ticket. And we'll go through these for, uh, val uh, input values one by one uh, and they'll all make sense so uh, order close needs a ticket so that's basically telling this function which order it needs to close and at this stage we only have one ticket the ticket of the order that's just been opened and that's exactly what we will supply to order close next um, the order close function uh, requires a value of um, <coughs> excuse me um, the number of lots that have to be closed. So this uh, uh, tells you that uh, you don't have to close the entire order right away. You can close half of it or you can close a fraction of the order. But in this particular instance, we're going to close the whole order. So it's going to be one lot. Uh, double price is the price at which we, we need to close. We want to close the order. And um, because this is a buy order and buy orders are opened at the uh, ask price, which is a dearer price. Uh, they're always closed at the cheaper price, so we get less money. They're closed at the bid price. Um, so here we'll type in bid. Slippage is um, the um, 
um, allowed uh, threshold or basically uh, acceptable deviation in pips uh, from this price and we're just going to set 10 pips and we're not going to bother about arrow uh, color because um, just the color of the arrow and it does have a default value so we'll just finish with the parameters there and as you can see order close is much smaller than order send and um, uh, that basically reflects that it doesn't have take profits and stop losses and doesn't take comment um, it still has four parameters which is quite a lot but just does look a bit smaller and uh, so that's that we'll compile that um, as you can see uh, we're getting a warning again saying that um, the uh, order of close uh, the return value of order close should be checked um, so let's go ahead and look at that because um, that's uh, prompting us um, to create a fail save mechanism just like we did for order send over here so we're going to do a very similar thing now so we'll go into order close back in there and we'll see that order close has a it returns a boolean variable and um, if we look at the description it says uh, returns true if successful otherwise false we don't need this other part so uh, much simpler than order send there is no tickets involved because the ticket is actually getting closed so uh, what we need to do is we need to create a boolean we'll call it res for result and here we'll type in res equals order close um, meaning that the return value will now be stored in the res variable and um, here we will uh, implement a fail safe mechanism if res is uh, equal to false then something went wrong and we need to tell the trader that there has been an error this is very important because um, the, if the trader doesn't look at this then the order will stay open and uh, can cause substantial damage to the uh, funds of the account uh, otherwise else uh, everything has uh, been uh, done successfully and the order has been closed so we need to tell the trader uh, just give him a friendly message saying order closed successfully uh, we don't need an exclamation mark because that's um, how we expect things to progress so we don't need to attract attention to that so we'll compile that as you can see no more errors or warnings um, that is because we are accounting for the result of um, the return value of order close and we uh, have put in place a fail safe mechanism and um, now if we go to the terminal and in scripts we look for tutorial 18 and uh, we drag that onto the chart we won't change any of the inputs you'll see it come up now and right away it was closed so your ticket is that number and then closing order and order closed successfully so if we go to account history here we can see the only order that ever existed is that uh, order which we opened um, and we closed uh, right away so we can do that again just to see how it works we'll maybe uh, change this to 40 and um, 30 take profit 40 stop loss 30 see what happens then order is opened or is closed let's do that one more time so 100 and uh, 50 now let's make it 80 order is opened or is closed and um, there you go that's that's how it works uh, let's just go back to the code quickly and you can see that the code is starting to grow that um, uh, it's getting some flesh to itself and uh, it's, um, it's it's growing quite quickly and um, that, that you'll see that that's what naturally happens when you build and build upon a program but the best part about it is that we've uh, literally gone through every line of this code and we know exactly what's happening so that's some very good uh, groundwork that we've done uh, and that um, will help us um, 
in our uh, future trading systems. So I hope you really liked the tutorial and uh, please do visit me on www.forexboat.com and where you can subscribe to my newsletter which will keep you up to date with everything. And um, I'll see you at the next tutorial. Until then, happy coding.